Uh, this is a Hobart FP100 dash, or FP150, I'm sorry, dash one. There's a label. Uh, 120 volt, uh, one, half a horsepower Hobart food processor. Uh, came from a closed school. Yeah. It's in perfect condition. There's very, very little signs of use. I, I would call it new, but I don't know where it was sitting and I don't know how long it was used for, so. But it's in amazing shape. There's no, you know, there's very few marks, like maybe a couple scuffs, but nothing, nothing to really show it was ever used. But uh, here, I'll turn it on. You can hear it, it's nice and quiet. Even this thing is in like perfect shape. You can see the that's the separator blade. That's the blade that goes beyond the blade. And you can hear it stops pretty nice. These are separator plates that set in there, so you can't pull this out. But um, you can see uh, we don't have any cutting blades with it at the moment, but we do have uh, the bottom. This is the piece that basically throws the material around. Then you'd have a blade sitting on top, but then you have the lock nut. Uh, everything else is here. Those are, uh, the blades are pretty cheap on eBay. They're less than $100. But uh, you can actually get one that, you know, suits your needs, I guess, because I'm just going to go buy, if I was going to buy one, I would buy whatever. But if you're actually cutting lettuce or fruit or whatever, they'd make one specifically for it. Um, that's locked on. I'll show you how it goes back together. So you close this piece back up. You lock this on. Uh, this piece slides over, goes down. You have this divider plate that matches this other one that sits in the groove, and this is adjustable. Imagine if you don't need it down in the uh, cutting spice, that would work. Then uh, this goes in here, that locks in. Got to make sure this lock is locked and uh, starts back up. And if you notice, um, if you, you, know, you can't really, they won't let you do it. They won't let you even open it. That's all tough. But you can't do anything until you turn this and this thing won't turn without that safety piece out. So you got to take this out. for cleaning and whatever. Take the nut off and go through it. Uh, turn this around here. Look at the back side. Look at the other side. I can turn it on its face here to look on the bottom. Uh, the unit is just in pristine shape. I mean, either they never used it, the school was never opened, or whatever. I mean, I could just find, like, little moving marks at best. I don't see any real signs of use. It's not grimy. There's not oily on it. Uh, but it's a really nice unit. If you got any questions at all, let me know. Otherwise, thank you.